time. So I want to mount this inside because my PS4 is the, the one with only two front ports. Um, so I opened up the hard drive and I noticed that there was space about here for where I want it. So in order to mount this, we're going to need to remove this. There's going to be a screw here and on the back there is a security screw here. Remove those two. And I found for me the easiest way to remove this was pull the front and work my way around the side. Be gentle, do not force it. Now we have this exposed. So there's going to be three silver Phillips heads right here. There's going to be a whole bunch of torques all over and there is going to be a black Phillips head here, 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 um, here, and here. There's where those go. After those, remove the other silver Phillips heads, the two that are here, pull this off. This can be removed now. For my PlayStation, this is as far as we need to go. I now have access to the pinouts of the USB. I have got... So the way I got this started was put a little cut in a circle. Shave off just a little bit. Once you get it started, you can gently work it like so. Just take your time, be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, as you can see with this dry fit, I have it going around here, pretty loosely going around here, and it extends past here. That's fine. I'm gonna cut off here and keep a little extra for now. So you're probably wondering how we're gonna figure out what pin to put these on. Well, I'm gonna use the end of this. So I'm gonna take my multimeter I'm going to set it to continuity. See that? And how that works is when I touch prongs together, it makes a sound. So, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to hold one wire at a time. I have a ground here. So see, we can use either of these as a ground. Um, all right, so now let's find our green wire. So that's our green wire. Let's find our red wire. So that's our red wire. Let's find our white wire. So green, white, red, black. So now I'm going to fit this a little tighter, and then we're going to do the soldering over here. Key to soldering well is make sure your tip is nice and clean. 
And if your tip gets dirty like this, just tip tender. going to shorten these up because they are too long just need a little bit now to be safe I'll put this back in same procedure I'm going to add a little bit of solder All right, so let's go test it. I still need a 3D print or something. 